assalamu alaikum friends welcome to this channel and in this tutorial i will show you that how can you download and see different indices like ndvi ndwi and image classification on sentinel data uh, from copernicus data space ecosystem website so you just need to write copernicus data space on your google and go to this website you have to make an account on this platform and it is very easy and smooth process uh, you will receive after entering your email and password you will receive a email confirmation email from space ecosystem website then in this case i have already my account so let's go toward the copernicus browser so this is the main interface from which we can visualize and mark our area of interest so here is the Pakistan and in this uh, tutorial first of all I will mark my area of interest I can draw up a polygon just like this and from here you can select the sensor so in this case I want sentinel2 data okay from search you can filter your data set like I want level 2 data of sentinel2 or uh, in having cloud cover less than or equal to 10% and then I can choose a date filter from over here but if you will not choose any date filter then it will provide you latest data of this sensor so now just hit the search button and from here you can see different scenes and tiles are present over here so when I choose a image then it highlights on this panel so you need to select an image that is that will cover all your area of interest and this one is that image so from here i can visualize the image like i can make a true color composite band or i can either see this image in false color So this is false color and you are, can also see this data set and the VI then go to its data. So you can see over here the normalized different vegetative indices are simple but effective. Mm -hmm. It is a moisten uh, the values ranges of the NDVI is between minus one and one. Negative values of NDVI corresponds to water and uh, the value close to zero or 0 0.1 are generally barren area like rocks and snow so low positive values are shrubs and grasslands and higher values representing the tropical rainforest or uh, dense vegetations uh, and the MI moisture index and scene classification on map it's like this so from here you can see this is the uh, legends or metadata about this scene classification map green color is showing the vegetation and the yellowish color is showing non-vegetative so so you can also make your own indices from custom you can select the bands combination from here just like if i will select four three and two that will represent the natural color so this is the natural color. okay so now let's go toward the image and how can we download the image so okay so let's what we want to download this image from here so we can also watch its uh, metadata we can also see its metadata and the scene of this image its cloud cover so if you want to download this image just hit download and you will 
your downloading will be start over here okay so once you download the image you will get the data just like this uh, you can extract the zip file and you can see it's data over here let's open this data in an arc map so this is our folder and from here and from go to granules and here image so here are the bands that having the spatial resolution of 10 meter here are the bands that have the spatial resolution 20 meter and 60 meter okay friend this tutorial was all about how to download and explore the copernicus new browser uh, that has been recently updated from european space agency so in next videos we will see that how can we process uh, this raster data and satellite imagery on our map so many thanks take care of office